What's up guys, how y'all doing today? I wanna make a video talking about what you should not do when you go to Colombia. Some of these things on the list are kinda of obvious to me, but I lived in Colombia for many years. But saying that, these things might not be that obvious to many people. The first thing that I would recommend, don't wear flashy stuff, all right? I'm talking about very nice watches like Rolexes, Cartier, all that jewelry, necklaces, expensive earrings, whatever it may be, uh, designer clothes, suits, all that good stuff that you might wear back in New York or Miami or whatever, wherever it is you're from or your home country. But in Medellin, Colombia, you don't wear flashy stuff. You don't flaunt your stuff. You don't act like you're, or if you're wealthy or rich, you don't show that you're wealthy or rich or you don't act like you're wealthy or rich, okay? Even, I have friends, Colombian friends, who are super wealthy, but you won't see them walking around and they can afford it. They can afford the nice watches, the Rolexes, that kind of stuff, but you'll never see them walk around that. You'll see them in the streets and you'll never, you won't even realize that they're wealthy, all right? Because in Colombia, you, you dress down. You blend in, you gotta blend in. So that's the first thing, just dress down. But at the same time, you don't wanna dress like a bum, all right? So there's backpackers who've been back, who backpack in the, the world, live eating out sardine, sardine cans, uh, having one backpack, uh, wearing the same clothes day after day, not maybe not washing or whatever. You know, I'm talking about like the, the extreme backpacker people, which, hey, if you're that way, that's fine, that's totally cool but you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb because hygiene in Colombia is very important. People smell good and they want everybody to smell good. Actually, I have some friends who are traveling right now and they're noticing that some other foreigners in their group don't smell too nice, all right? So Colombia hygiene and the way you smell and the way your clothes are clean, your shoes are clean, that kind of stuff is important, but you don't wanna flaunt, be flashy if that makes sense. All right, guys, so I hope, I hope I'm making sense. Let me know in the comments if I'm making sense. The next thing is, uh, and it goes to wearing clothes. You wanna dress like a local, you wanna be like a local. So definitely don't wear shorts, sandals, tank tops around Medellin, Colombia. Nobody dresses that way in the streets. Nobody goes out of their house with their shorts or their tank tops or especially sandals, okay? The only time that could pass is on Sundays because Sundays in Colombia is actually like the the official unofficial sports day like to do sports activities outdoors many people will go to the park to the stadium it's, a, it's an outdoor activity day so yes people wear shorts people wear sh shirts or tank tops to do physical activity they won't wear sandals though <laughs> they won't be wearing sandals and the reason why people in Colombia especially in Medellin Colombia don't wear sandals is because it goes back to the hygiene, right? You're at, you're at a restaurant, you're eating your food, you don't wanna see another person's toes sticking out and just walk around with your feet open to the elements. It's not, it's not a Colombian thing to do, especially in Medellin. Where you can wear sandals, where it is, I guess, common, is at the pool. If you go to a pool party, you can wear sandals, you can wear a bathing suit, you can wear a tank top. So either pool or the other place you, you wear shorts, like if you're walking in the streets, you're wearing shorts and a shirt like I'm wearing like right now, it's because you're either going to the gym or you're coming from the gym. So think back, I remember when I was a kid back in the 80s, early 90s, and my dad and my uncles, I'm, I'm Hispanic, so Hispanic uh, family, uh, South Texas. So I remember my dad and my uncles never wore shorts. My uncles, they had a ranch, they owned a horse ranch. And I remember the time when they come visit us and they go to the pool, they wore their, their swimming shorts and their legs were so pale because they literally never wore shorts outside. And that's how men were back in the day. You only wear shorts if you're doing sports activities or swimming. Children wore shorts, or, or small boys wore shorts back in the day. So that's kind of like how it is in Colombia, and especially in Medellin, Colombia. All right, so long tangent on that one. And that's gonna keep you guys from being a target as an obvious tourist, all right? If you're coming to Medellin, you're wearing shorts, tank top, and sandals, you're a tourist. All right, so don't walk alone in empty areas if you don't know the area. All right, even if you might know the area, try not to walk alone in empty streets and empty areas because that's a not very safe place to be, especially if it's in a wealthy area too. Because a lot of times in wealthy areas in, in, in Colombia, especially in Medellin, Colombia, there's not that many people in the streets because most wealthy people, they drive cars or they're in their house, right? So they leave their house in their cars. They don't really walk that much in the wealthy areas. And thieves tend to target wealthy areas because they know people have money and they know it's kind of empty in the streets. So around dusk to nighttime, if it's empty, just don't be walking around that area, especially if you don't know it. It's best just to grab an Uber.
to get to your, where you need to get to. Don't try to impress people with how much money you have. Don't talk about how much money you have. Don't talk about the kind of job you do or how much you bring in or all that kind of stuff. Again, I'm not sure where you're from or if the States or wherever it is. Unfortunately, in other cultures, it's all about impressing people how much money you have and what, what kind of car you drive, what kind of career you have, that kind of stuff. In Colombia, you don't want to be talking about that kind of stuff. You want to keep it to yourself. If people ask you what you do, I mean, you know, you can say what you do, but that, if they ask you, don't be that person. Oh, I'm, I just got promoted. Like, again, majority of people aren't this way, but there are some people who are kind of just need to try to impress other people with what they do and how much they make. Do not use ATMs in the streets. If you want to use the ATM, go into the malls. Every mall has ATMs inside. You go to the ATM, that's the first thing you do. You walk in the mall, you go straight to the ATM, pull your money out. Then you go do other things around the mall. You go window shopping, you go to the grocery store, you go buy whatever you need to buy. Do some other stuff first and then you leave the mall just to make sure nobody's staking out the ATM to try to see who's a good target, who's a good victim. It doesn't just happen in Colombia, it happens everywhere in the world, but that's just one safety measure you can take. Don't pull money out of the ATM in the streets. There's ATMs in the streets, just don't do it. It's not even worth it, go to a mall. Don't talk, ask, or make jokes about Pablo Escobar. This is a very sensitive topic. Unfortunately, there's been tourists or foreigners who come to Colombia, or even my friends, people I know who are Colombian who go abroad, and then people ask them, where are you from? They say, Colombia. The first thing that people ask is, oh, Pablo Escobar. Like when I came here to Brazil, and I, one of my Airbnb hosts, they asked me, yo, where, where are you from? I said, I'm from Texas, but I live in Colombia. Where are you in Colombia? Medellin. Ah, oh, Medellin, Pablo Escobar. All that stuff. Colombians don't like that topic. They don't like talking about it. It's not a nice topic to talk about. And like I was saying before, unfortunately, a lot of foreigners and tourists that go to Colombia, they think that Pablo was a folklore hero, you know, like a Robin Hood for the people. And it's not, that's absolutely not true. Many people, many Colombians lost loved ones, uh, close friends, relatives to that time, to what happened back in those, day, those days. So to bring up that topic, especially in a joking manner or making that guy out to be more than he was or better than he, he was, that still hurts, okay? It's almost like going to New York and asking people about 9-11 and joking about 9-11 and making it out to be no big thing. Many people from New York lost loved ones. So, and I have a friend from New York who actually made that comparison, so it makes total sense. So that's the topic you don't wanna talk about. There are Pablo Escobar tours in Medellin. I think it's just people taking advantage of that, that situation that happened to make money. I've never been on one. I have no desire to go to that one. If you want to do your own research, do your own research, but most Colombians don't want to talk about it. The next one I want to talk about is, uh, this is kind of funny. Don't take off your shoes when you go visit Colombians in their homes. Most Colombians, let me know in the comments if this is true. What I know about most Colombians is they don't take off their shoes in their house. And if you do take off your shoes when they go into their house, they're going to think it's strange. I think it's because they, they believe that walking around barefoot or in your socks on towel floor, you can get sick. That's what they believe. That's it. I mean, I know I've always taken, I, I love taking my shoes off when I come in the house. It just feels right to me, but I don't do it when I go visit my friends, my Colombian friends. All right, two more things not to do in Colombia. This next one is, you've probably heard of it, but don't take your cell phone out too much in the, in the streets. I know many people say, don't take your cell phone out at all in the streets. And then the question is, well, how can I use my Google Maps or, or get an Uber, that kind of stuff without taking my cell phone out? And that's not entirely true. You can't take your cell phone out in the streets. You have to be aware of your surroundings. I'm always aware of my surroundings. If you guys see me when I videotape in the streets, I'm always looking around. And again, and I have to explain this all the time in the comments. People always, oh, that dude's so paranoid in the streets. Why is he so paranoid about? No, I'm that way when I'm videotaping. So I have my camera out like this, you know, and talking to myself like a lunatic. And most people who outside of California, I guess LA, uh, don't normally see people vlog in the streets talking to themselves to a camera. So it's not very common. All right. So <laughs> those multiple things and me giving papaya with my, my camera out my phone, I'm, I'm ultra aware of my surroundings in those times. But when I don't have my camera out and I'm walking normal, I don't look around all the time like this, but I do look around. I'm, I'm always scanning my horizon. I'm always looking at uh, my peripheral and Every once in a while as I'm walking, I'm always looking behind me to see who's behind me. Not all the time, but every once in a while, if that makes sense. So I know my surroundings at all time. I'm pretty aware of my surroundings. And when I feel that I'm in a good uh, situation where I can pull my cell phone out, I do it. But I don't pull it out like a fool or, or a dummy. I don't pull it out and I look at my cell phone like this, you know, having it out like this and facing the street. Because oftentimes 
That's when motorcycles will come out and snatch it out of your hand. That has happened before many times in Medellin where motorcycles just come, they'll see somebody with their cell phone out looking like this, you know, or whatever, and then snatch, they, they, they drive off. So what I do, I'm gonna try to put this, the camera back, hopefully I can get a good angle. So here's, ah, look. See, I, I can't see myself, but here we go. So here's the, the, my phone. It's in my pocket, right? It's in my pocket. So what I do is, here's the street, cars coming by, I'm see, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm aware of my surroundings, I know nobody's right behind me. So here's the street again. I turn my back to the street, I'm facing the stores or whatever, like the buildings here, and I pull my cell phone out of my pocket and I put it right here in my, my stomach with the street to my back. I put it here, I look, all right, I look at my, my cell phone to look at the map or the Uber or see if the Uber's closed or whatever I need to do, and then I put it back in my pocket and I, then, then, I, then I turn back around. So that's how I keep myself safe when I'm pulling my, my cell phone out. I don't, I don't give myself, I don't give them the opportunity to make me an easy victim. All right, does that make sense? So take my advice and heed my, my warnings. And the last thing, the last thing about what not to do in Medellin, Colombia, and it's actually all over Colombia. Don't go to mom and pop stores and restaurants and pay with 50,000 pesos or above. I think the biggest peso the currency is 100,000 pesos, but nobody really uses that. Don't go to a mom and pop store and try to buy something with that 50,000 peso. You, you're gonna be using 20,000 peso and, and below, and coins even. Learn how to use coins in Colombia. So the mom and pop stores love coins. I had a friend who he didn't understand how to use uh, cash. Using cash is kind of, of a lost art in most countries. In the States, even here in Brazil, you use credit card for everything. People look, forgot how to use the spare change at, to buy things. So my buddy was in Colombia for six months and he literally had a, a bag full of coins that he was just, he didn't know what to do with it. And I said, look man, give that to me if you're gonna, I'll use it. And I literally used his coins for two weeks to pay my lunches. Lunch in Colombia costs about $2.50. All right, so about 10,000 pesos. I literally, like two weeks paying all in coins. And every time I went to the restaurant, the mom and pop restaurant, they loved me because I paid with handfuls of coins, man. They loved it. That way they can break the, the bills. So if you have 50,000 pesos, large currency, you break those bills in the grocery store, the major grocery store like El Exito, for example. That's where you go. I don't care if you have uh, smaller bills in your pocket to buy groceries, you pull out those crisp 50,000 pesos and you pay your groceries with those to break it. That's how you do it, all right? So there's the things not to do when you go to Colombia.